Aloha, I'm Von Cadis, also known as TK in Honipe on Ace Attorney Online. Now, today we're going to start playing a trial called Turnabout of Courage. A trial made by Black Rune, and I think Bad Player, but mostly Black Rune. I digress. So as I started this page, this thing came up, loading finished, and then I heard the Zelda effect. It means like something solved, I guess. So yeah, we got the first frame done. Woo, let's go. I'll be pressing enter so that we don't have to hear me clicking all the time. Perfect crabs have their rules. Rule number one, no witnesses. Failing here is like forfeiting the game from the start. Rule number two, no evidence. To be more precise, no uncalculated evidence. Hey, nice choice of music here. I feel pumped. As long as one is aware of the evidence that will be found, one can prepare ahead. This is so epic, I haven't even started playing. Rule 3. The plan must be foolproof, even against unknown factors. If coincidence can lead to an uncalculated event, witnesses or evidence will be created. Mill. Mill be created. Addenda. Addenda. An alibi is always helpful, even not always possible. Proving an alibi. I'm not gonna read all this. <laughs> I see. Perfect. No one will know that I've hidden the cookie. No one will know that I've eaten it. And it's hidden in me. Whoa, you got some caps lock error there, bro. Bros. Holy crap, what a prologue. <laughs> okay, let's go. He's come. Two minutes too early. Seems like he can't spend it. There. That's Larry, always a butt. You mean you remember calling him Harry? Here's spin one on? Pretty much. Cause the crime's gonna go down. Cause you're still alive. He's only carrying a candle? What is he? Stop texting me! Who's texting me? Two minutes later, nothing. Look at that. Hmm? See, arrived at the tower. Two minutes. I don't see a butt, so I don't see a silhouette. You can clearly confirm that he's been in there for a whole hour. Otherwise, you could have said that he only planted the candle there. And that's Test of courage. <laughs> Step one, present the badge. Yes, that's your attorney's badge. No need to rub it in my face. Lost yours in a rather careless way. It's been six years, okay? Six years and two minutes now. You're gonna make me get more ashamed by the minute. Let's just go. So what's this test of courage? It's the name of the trial, girl. For my cut, relationship is depending on this test of courage. Nice. The answer is the butt head. Hmm. And then zombies. Cause Halloween. Yeah, small talk. How about the iPhone 5? How's your life been?
It's a pretty nice place once you get used to it. Um, is that a spell error? Maybe I should drop it by sometime. Though I never really understood why you chose to quit, you would but now you're a butt like Larry Butthead. Have you gotten over what happened one year ago? No. I didn't like you eating my cookie. I found out. Why couldn't you just stay on Dora's show, Diego? I'm still feeling sorry for what happened to your husband there. Poison coffee again. Right, sorry about that. Let's talk about something else then. This church, for example. This church. Wait, someone's calling me. Can you answer it? How about you focus on witnessing? Whatever you want to show me there, yeah, you can wait. I don't want to have to add a statement, but whatever you showed me to my testimony. What if the attorney uses that small detail to turn the whole case on its head? Sounds like what you'd have done. Fine, let's be better witnesses then. It's like, I presented to you a phone, and this is why the killer is you. How did I get inside? Magic. Wait, that previous sentence didn't have a question mark. Should it have? Um, Black Rune, if you're watching, um, that's just me asking. He's got a key together with the letter. Maybe he teleported. He has a way of just being around every pretty girl, so that's the answer. Um, this place is pretty far off from the town. Ten minutes with the car. Good thing I have a driving license now. What a comma at the end? I won well, you know. Church services would be worth it. Oh, really? Huh. I know, right? Maybe he's dating a ghost. And thus, they waited until it was eight minutes before their time. Wait, the light just went out. I guess he blew it out and then... What? Let me check. That's eight minutes too early. I don't like this. Let me check. Maybe his phone is eight minutes faster. Maybe he's in European time and they caught up, but now they're eight minutes ahead. I'm sure he's fine. This is Larry we're talking about. He's always fine. And we're always the ones that are not going to be fine in the end. <laughs> I was just thinking, I'm saying he's fine and I call him a butt, so that's a fine. Never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't be reading this dialogue. I am reading it. I am reading it. This would mark the beginning of an age. The most tragic case I ever involved in. Until Black Rune, invo until Black Rune made Turnabout Paris. Let's continue. Oh, we're closer. It's too dark. Even up close, I can barely see anything. Something on the road of here. Not so fast. Not so fast. You're wearing too much here. Those ghost stories are true. As a matter of fact, I'm glitching right now. Right, you're into that spirit summoning stuff, huh? I thought a ghost would just show up and like say hi to you. What do you, Larry? Is that you? Why are you lying on the floor? Here? All right, Larry, stop those stupid pranks. Get up now. No use. There's no pulse. He did. What? This ain't no April Fools. Get up, Larry. Why would he be dead? This is Larry we're talking about. Hi. This. I'll go and call the police. Harry. I'm sorry for calling you, Harry. It's just me and a corpse. Oh, yeah. That's, no, I'm, I'm just kidding, It's that's very wrong. He's taking his time. Sorry for the wait, the police should be on their way now. 
So, how did you do the murder, Phoenix, huh? Where did you hide the evidence? Hey, don't pop this up out again, I know it. Why did you take that long? This is apparently an auto service area for my cell phone. So I had to drive all the way to town. Oh, okay then. We should wait here and not touch anything until they arrive. But I see that's not your intention because you're the murderer, I think. I'm just kidding. Dating, guessing, guess. I can't even talk right now. Larry was my friend. Sorry, I want to know who's behind this. Don't worry, Larry. You're a butt, so we'll make sure we treat you like a butt in the end. No, that's messed up. Alright, well, we're done with the prologue and we're here. We're gonna end it off because that's quite a bit of time. <laughs> in the next episode, we're gonna start investigating how the butt died. See you guys next time.